made you pick Southeastern Community College because I'm pretty sure you had mm -hmm. many options to pick JUCO. So what made you pick them? At the time, they was uh, one of the top, uh, and I think if I'm not mistaken, still are now top top 20 JUCOs in the um, in the nation. Um, at the time, they were like top 10, and um, they had got some footage of a game that I had uh, at um, at Wings. And I remember this vividly. My coach had told me to come in day after practice. We had practice and all that. And then I went home. He had asked me to come back to the school. I came back. And he like um, a coach from you know um, Southeastern Iowa called about you. Wants you to fly you out there. You know to to, to play open gym with them and potentially you know, have you come to the school. So I was like, where where's West Burlington? Like where's that at? Like I got on the phone with him and. The conversation that we had on the phone, I could tell that he had my best interest. And right from there, I was like, I'll go out there and do the do the um, workout or whatever, or play open gym so they could see my game. I went out there, and from the first game, they was signing me to come to school. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I, I, I want to come out here. Like, I need to be away. I need to get away. And it was just a no-brainer at the time for me. That's real. That's real. How hard of an adjustment was it, you being a kid from the big city, way out in the Midwest now, in the middle of nowhere? It, 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 was, a, it was a big adjustment. Um, Cause you come, like you say, you're an inner city kid, you coming from where the city never sleeps, New York. Everything is always going on to a place where you just see trees and farmland and just your school. And there's no excitement, nothing, no, nothing fun for you to do. We had to go to a hotel that had like, um, arcade games just to have some fun like for real like it was really nothing in that town but the support that that school got from their fans right. it was There's like we played in the on. nba yeah so it's nothing going yeah. on so everybody just congregates. come congregates to the games yeah. i'm talking about you got people 80 90 to four years old yeah. at the game i vividly remember one of our fans that had an oxygen tank that he was a season ticket holder and he would be at the front <laughs> row every game with his oxygen tank and I know if he's still alive, God rest his soul, that he would, he probably still, still going to the game. And that, that, that was great. That was something great for me because it made us want to put on the show, like, yeah. and, and perform, like, because we had such a, a great following of people, like, that came out to support us. But That's it was definitely, up. definitely a, a change. But AAU helped with that, you know, being able yeah. to travel young, um, be away from your family right. for a certain amount, you know, weekends or weeks. So it helped out a little bit.